All right. It's Bible study time. 2 p.m. Ah, 2.03. Yeah. We'll wait for a few people to catch up. It is good to see you today. Some folks are arriving. Facebook is always slow on those notifications. Hi, Terry Lynn. Hi, Cindy. I'll have to have my uh, singing stuff on. Erica, I'm sorry I was late. I uh, 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 Don't fire me. William, Maggie, good to see. Carol's here. Cheryl's here. Megan's here with a strange last name. That's too big. The new logo. Way too big. Gonna have to shrink that bad boy. That was ginormous. Yes, Steve. It was good to hear in Pastor Hall today. Talk about that. I got a couple of shares to do. And then we're hauling the mail. Of course I'm I know who you are. Wow. Big ink blot covering my face. I think I shared it to the wrong group. Oh, well, let's get to Matthew, shall we? Um, and here we're going to, um, we're in Matthew 26. Um, plugging along in Matthew's gospel. We have a few weeks to go. Um, what else are we going to do? Well, after this, we'll probably do another Bible study. Um, Eric and I are in negotiations for my high raise in salary. Um, um, hey buddy, you want a treat? Oh, he's a wide awake boy today. Hi Beth. All right, we're good. Got inadvertently shared that to a, uh, a group I didn't intend to share that to. Oh, well. No more, uh, no more Mountain Dew. I need more Mountain Dew. That is for sure. I need more Mountain Dew. So. All right. A little out of sorts today because um was running a little late today, running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, and just a crazy day today. Just crazy running around. And um, I can't seem to share that to my own page. Oh, well. Um, ah, it'll work. Hi, Pam Searing. Good to see you. Hi, Jennifer. Hmm. I'll figure that out later. All right, let's get rolling. The higher things symbol needs to be in this corner, but it's too big. So we'll have to figure this out as we go. Oh, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, my, my screen. You don't need to see that. You just need to see this. There we go. All right, I want you to, We'll start with um, the betrayal, 47. 
So Jesus literally just said, um, <laughs> Jesus literally said, um, well, that's a circle. That's rather odd. Oh, that's what we were using yesterday. We're going to use the wide screen. There we go. I like, I like the full screen. Then you can see the dog. All right. So Jesus literally just said um, that they were coming. They were coming to get him. The betrayers at hand. 47. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the 12. Good catch, buddy. Um, I have a bad business plan, Cindy. I, I, I don't get paid for higher things work. I do that out of the love of my heart because I think it's a good thing. And I, 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 I got involved in higher things for my kids. Um, uh, so, um, I wanted this for my kids. Okay. And now my kids are grown up. Well, they're above 18. Um, I still want it. I want it for my grandkids. So that's why I do what I do. But uh, the business model of not getting paid for this, if I got to question myself sometimes, I'm just kidding. I love what I do. Um, I love being a pastor. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Um, 47. While he's still speaking, Judas, one of the 12. And this is so important to understand. He caught it. He caught it. Um, it's so important to understand that this is specific. You have to understand how, um, he's out to work now. You have to understand how profound of a betrayal this is. And that's denoted by the, um, by the text. Ace tone do deca um one of the 12 he's one of the 12 people were baptized by judas people heard judas's preaching he was one of the 12 hey buddy enough of that no reason to be killing anybody today Come here. What a good boy. Whoa. Come here. Okay. He's riled up today because um, because I was uh, I literally blew in here and started the Bible study. Um, this is so profound. And you also need to learn about the Donatist controversy. That those who were, um, those who were baptized by Judas, those who heard Judas's preaching, they heard the gospel. They were baptized. Judas is falling away. Doesn't change the word he preached. Doesn't change the baptisms that he did. This betrayal, this and how icky this actually is does tell us one thing. Look, if your pastor should shudder the thought, fall away, if he should wake up and never, ever, ever um, <laughs> Thor is asking me to walk him during the Bible study. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Um, your pastor, should he fall away? The guy who baptized you, did your wedding, did your confirmations for your kids? Your pastor, if he falls away, that doesn't change what the word did. Because it doesn't depend on the man. It depends on Jesus. The Donatus controversy was, was Donatus. Um... I want to say third century. Uh, but he was, um, 
he was a bishop and he um and he and during the the persecution um during the persecution one of the persecutions the the romans knew that the way to kill the christians was not to kill them the the way to kill the christians was to um was was to take their books and so they would break into the christian place the christian houses of worship they would find the christian pastors and they would say give us your books and those that handed over the books they the latin is traditor they handed over the books were traitors well the guys that didn't who went to jail the guys who were like absolutely not you're not taking our books you're not taking the hymnals out of the pew you're not taking the bibles you're not scrolls when the when the persecution was over with thought that the got the stuff done by the by the traditors wasn't and i don't know another word other than effective even though it carries all the the augustine stuff to it and 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 pastor finker the dean will get on me for that later on um but uh uh don't miss this pastor finker's right on the demons were cast out by judas he was baptizing he was for all intensive purposes a christian pastor like benedict arnold was a was a, a famous american general before he turned coded so when judas one of the 12 this is big this is big um for the star trekkers like finker this is the Cardassians changing sides in the last battle, the Battle of, of Cardassia. I mean, this is big. This is, this is, this is, he's changed sides. He's on the other team. He's against Christ. One of the 12. And it just gets worse. It just gets worse. With him, 47. Is a, is, a, is a big crowd with swords and clubs from the high priests and the teachers of the people. Let's make the Greek just slightly bigger so that um, our dear friend uh, um, Pastor Finker can read it. Um, and now the betrayer, the parodidus, the one who betrays him. That's what he's called now. The one who betrays him. Gave to them a sign saying. Now, sign, same word that Jesus uses. Hi, buddy. Look at this boy wide awake. That's what I need to do. I don't need to walk and stuff like that. I just need to not be here. And you'll be so happy to see me. You'll be awake during Bible class. And eating all sorts of treats. What a good boy you are. So Jesus is doing signs. They're asking him to do signs. Judas has a sign. Judas has a sign that he's given to the, to the chief priests and the scribes and the guards. And, and, and this, is, this is bad. This makes me very, very bad. I was reading this while eating lunch this, today, and it made me very, very sad. Because this word right here, this word right here, this word right here, aorist active subjunctive from phileo. Okay. The one that I love on, the one that I love him is, uh, the one that I love is him. Arrest him. Phileo means to love. To be a friend to. All right. This is translated with its third meaning down here to show affection to, to love on, basically. So to kiss in Greek 
is to love on someone. And so Judas literally loves on Jesus, smooches him right on the cheek. Phileo. That's what this word means. Showing you the definition in, in, um, uh, I think it's Brown Driver, Brown, I think it's Brown Driver Briggs, but, um, loved on him. They lo- he loved on him. Bauer, Walter, Dinker. That's it. I'm sorry. That's the, the good in, um, it's, it's the good, um, um, it's the, it's the very, 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 very famous lexicon. BDAG. Thank you, Finker. Um, you better watch out, Finker. You better go downstairs. If you keep talking like this and giving all this gospel, I'm going to need you to, um, uh, I'm going to need you to, I'm going to phone a friend here. I'm capable of doing it. Okay. The one I love on, that's the guy you seize. And it, it should get to you. I mean, it's getting to me here. Um, and I never, ever considered it t- 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 till today. As I was sitting um, in a place with less than 25% people, and I read this, I, 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 I nearly started, it's getting to me right now. I nearly started weeping. He loved on him. The one I love on is the guy. Caesar. And Jesus' reaction to this is just astounding. And immediately coming up to Jesus, uh, meaning coming, he said, Kare Rabbi! And he caught a phileson. He loved down on him, kissed him. Hey! Teacher! Hug, smooch. It's awful. Jesus said to him, Natara, buddy, friend. Hey, buddy. F U pare. Just get it over with. You killing that uh, squeak toy, buddy? Come over here. Hey, bud. Come over here. Hey, come here. You want this treat? Come here. Come on in. Come here. Oh, yeah. Give me a high five. Come here. You know what I'm up to, don't you? Come here. You're embarrassing me, buddy. Just a, all right. All right. Here. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. You could do it. There he is. All right. He's in a mood. And he betrayed him. And he and he kissed him. Greetings, Rabbi. How's it going? Rabbi, how's it going? And he loved on him. And Jesus says simply, friend, do what you came to do. Get it over with. Uh, Cheryl, the disciples cast out demons in his name. We had that earlier. He was a disciple. Pastor Finker is dead on right. He was one of the 12. And so when the 12 are doing things, Judas Iscariot is one of them. Whoever holds this treat possesses the power of Thor. He's one of them. And he betrays him. Loves on him and betrays him. Goodness, he's in the zone today. I need to not give you any loving until until Bible study time and then you'll be a good boy. Um, it's just very, very sad. Don't miss this. Don't get so wrapped up in 
Well, somebody has to betray Jesus, and the lot fell on Judas, and so it was Judas. Poor Judas. He goes in, and he loves on Jesus. Whoops. He goes in, and he loves on Jesus. The comfort in the lesson here is that all the stuff that Jesus did in, uh, that, that Judas did in Jesus' name, none of it is rendered void by this fall. None of it. What are you doing? Brenda's having fun. I don't know what Brenda's doing, but she's a little bit confused, it would appear. All right. Hey, buddy, do what you came for. And coming, the Epiballon. Remember, um, ek balon is, balo is to cast out. Epi balon is to, um, it's a basically ek balo is to throw out. Epi balo is to throw in or to seize. They, lay, they, they threw in their hands on Jesus and they carted him away. They seized him. They arrested him. Which is what the goal was all along. Which is what the goal was all along. But they couldn't do it in front of the people. And behold, one of those with Jesus stretched out his hand, drew his sword, and struck the chief priests, um, the ear of one of the, one of the, the, Servants of the high priest, the Dulon to Archeretos, the one of the servants of the high priest struck him. We know this is Malchus from a different gospel. I think that's John's gospel that defines us as Malchus. Okay, so they're going to fight for him. Look at this boy. He is like. Good boy. Now skedaddle. Go play with your toys. What a good boy is. And, and, and he's killing a monkey over here, but the monkey isn't a squeak toy. All right, so. Jesus says to him, thanks for fighting for me. No, 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 no. That's not what's going on. Jesus said to him, return the sword to its place. Return your sword to its place. All taking the sword in the sword will die. So those who take the sword will die by the sword. If you want to fight your way out of this, you're going to end up dying. And this is important. Notice just the contrast for a second of the difference between every other religion and Christianity. Notice he doesn't say fight and die for me. Take the infidels and kill them. Instead, preaching peace, he says put, put your sword back in its topos. Put your sword back in its place. Jesus doesn't need you fighting for him. He doesn't. He wants to fight and die for you. As opposed to the other religions of the world where you give up your life for that religion, get your um, 70 or 80 Thors, um, and he found a squeak toy, get your 70 or 80 virgins or whatever that is um, that are going to make life wonderful for you, and all you had to do was give your life up for, for God. God doesn't want you to give his life, your life up for him. He doesn't need that. If he gives that to you, it'll happen. He wants to give his life up for you, which is the antithesis of every religion ever created by men, where men die for God. No. The gospel, God dies for sinners. Pat, 
Um, was it a choice Judas made or was it a plan to lead to the cross? Um, I believe it was a choice that Jesus, that, that, um, well, come over here, bud. So everybody could see you. Do you want this tree? Do you want this? You want this? All right, speak. Put it right here. Can you get it? There you go, buddy. Okay, so was it a plan? It, it wasn't. Okay, so rather than understanding prophecy as someone had to betray Jesus and it was Judas that did it, why don't we sort of think that he knows that Judas is going to do this, and so he says in advance that it's going to happen, warning him along the way, okay? So often we think that something happens to fulfill something rather than God seeing that it's going to happen and telling you that it's going to happen in advance. Yeah, Thor's in rare form today. Diet Coke from the Japanese place. Okay. I want you to, to take 53 in. I hope that answers your question, Pat. Very good question. Very common question. Take it as he knows what's going to happen. He knows what's going to happen. He knows what's going to happen. And he says it's going to happen. Well, of course Thor speaks for Thor. Brenda? On the other side, Chief. It's on the other side. Come on over to the other side. <laughs> that never gets old. Do you not think that um, I am able to call to my father And to put at my disposal, that, that, that he would put at my disposal at once immediately many, um, many more than 12 legions of angels. First thing. First thing. Um, Jennifer, uh, um, I'm going to take that question after I finish this thought. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Um, do you not think that I, I cannot appeal to my father and it, he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? Um, what, I, what, I, what I want you to sort of um, take in from this. And then I'll answer your question, Jennifer. Um, is... God's plan has been in, in motion since before there was a world. Before he said, let there be light, he knew what was going to happen. He knew everything. He knew Adam and Eve were going to fall. He knew Cain was going to kill Abel. He knew Abraham um, was going to, um, well, Noah, Noah and his big, big boat. He knew all of that. He knew he was going to send his people to Egypt. And then they were going to. Um, he knew he was going to send his people to Egypt. Hey, buddy, you want a treat? Ooh, there's a treat. Um, he knew everything that was going to happen for all time before he said, let there be light. Which, and behind this statement is also that he's thought this through. What happens if I call down 12 legions of angels? Well, Pat's not saved. What happens if I, what happens if I um, come down from the cross? Pat's not saved. And I think sometimes we tell God what we think he should do as if he doesn't already have in mind the best thing to do 
with all the possible outcomes. How faithless of us to tell God what we, we think he should do like he didn't figure it out in advance. Like he didn't think it through. He's got this thing so... He's on this so much that when he says in the, in the garden, and, and Pastor Finker's going to love this. I, I, I actually haven't told Pastor Finker this yet. Um, when he says in the garden, you eat of that tree, you will surely die. When a God that walks and talks, which is JC, says that. When he says that, he is basically saying, you eat of this tree, I will surely die. That's what he's saying. When he says, when you enter death into the world, it's going to kill you, but in the end, it's going to kill me to save you. Ah, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know what you just did, Finker? Let me tell you what you just did. The next Bible study on my days off will be taught by Finker on my days off. Finker with his beard is going to do that. Bobby Joe, first let me let me handle um, the question from Jennifer. So Jennifer has, um, because I said he doesn't need you to die for him. Um, he wants to die for you. The martyrs who die for him, that's what's given them to do. Their witness to the gospel. And I'm not taking anything away from it. Um, his beard has a first name. It's F-E-N-K-E-R. His beard has a second name. It's D-E-A-N. Dean! Anyway. Um, so to those that has been given... To those that have been given to do the gospel, to die for the gospel, all right? To those who've been given to die for the gospel, um, it, it, to them, the crown of life, to the martyrs, Justin yesterday, um, uh, all of those, all of those folks, okay? Um, Justin, James, Paul, Peter, all of those given to die, Jennifer, they've been given to die. That was the, that was their witness. That was the gift given to them. Okay. I don't have to go out and look for death. All right. I don't have to go out and look to suffer for Jesus. He'll give that to me as gift. And that, by the way, is the answer to Bobby Joe's question. Um, we think suffering is somehow a punishment from God when actually su suffering is a gift from God. We're given to rejoice in our sufferings because suffering produces character. Character produces... Um, in, I mean, it's suffering produces character. Character produces endurance. Endurance produces something, you know. Uh, Faker's going to do that. He's a much better Bible scholar than me, and he's about to spit it out and thus, on my day off, earn his self um, this chair. We will hear from the catacombs of, uh, of, of his house. Right, Grace. Very good. They didn't earn salvation by dying. Their salvation was earned by his dying. Very profound. Very profound. Very, very profound. Everybody's having a great day, including Thor. Um, all right. Everybody's having a great day, okay? All right. Everybody's questions answered. Moving on. So, but what I, what I wanted you to understand, though, what I needed you to understand is that Jesus isn't making this stuff up as he goes. He is not the joker. Do I look like a guy who has a plan? He's not a joke. He's not the joker. He's not. Um, he's not. This is the only way to save you. And he's thought it out. 
Okay. Oh, what? I can't believe I'm asking this. Lestico, what's your question? I, 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 I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. And while I wait for his question, I want to show you some vintage higher things stuff so that you might go to the store.higherthings.org and buy a cool mask. This can be used as a mask. Buy a cool shirt. Luther seal on it. Check this out. You want to bet me he snatches the shirt? What's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? Oh, oh, come on to the other side. He's, tr- he's right there. Come on, buddy. You want this treat? Ooh, I put it right there. It's like he can fly. The s- oh, merchandise, higherthings.org slash merchandise. The, the website changed. Time to learn new things. All right. So look, he thought this through. Don't think that he didn't think this through. And he thought through what is the best way to save as many people as I possibly can. That's what he's thought through. Don't you think I could have called down more than 12 legions of angels? And so often we tell God what he should do. And he's like, you didn't think I didn't thought, you you think I didn't think of that? I'm God. I thought of that. And that's why sometimes he says, hi Priscilla. Sometimes he says, I looked around for you, Lestico, when I made the universe and I didn't see you. I was looking for you when I was, when I was, setting up the foundation of the heavens and I missed you. And why does he not call down the 12 legions of angels? And so how would the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must happen? Hey, buddy, can I have a kiss? Kisses. Kisses. Hey, can I have kisses? Dude, we're on the camera. Not give me a kiss. Really? He betrayed me without a kiss. So, at that very hour, Jesus said to the crowd, Have you come out ex el feta with, um, like, like, like for, like to get a robber with, with daggers and clubs to apprehend a robber? Is that, is that what you've come out? You, is you come out against a robber? He says, um, day after day in the temple, I sat down teaching and you didn't arrest me. But this takes place so that the scriptures would be fulfilled. The scriptures, the, 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 the scriptures of the prophets or the writings of the prophets would be fulfilled. And then the clencher and all of his disciples abandoned him. Abandoning him fled. There you go. There you go. Um, there you go. What I, what I, what I want you to, to take from today is he did this to save you. 
He did this to rescue you from sin, death, and the power of the devil. Not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood and his innocent suffering and death. He did this to die for you. And yeah, this directly sets up Pastor Lestico is just a great pastor. He's, he's, it's setting up Eloi, Eloi, Labak, Sabathani, which is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They all forsake him. They all Judas him. They all run away from him. And in just a wee bit, Peter's going to flat out deny him. And all of this takes place in order to save you and me. And this is for our good. And this is for our salvation. And this is so that we would have life in his name. All this to save sinners. Tomorrow, a eh, short one today, 2 p.m., I will be on time. Tomorrow, I will be on time. And I will not be as flustered as I was today. I will not be as flustered as I 2 p.m. 2 p.m. And I also invite you to um, learn about the new ginormous Higher Things logo and all that it means. This is kind of cool. And all that it means by taking a look at the um, by taking a look at the video on the new Higher Things logo, which is coming very soon. Okay, it's on. It's on YouTube already. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.